We're here today to do some sewing basics. Wendy the kitten loves playing with thread. She's, oops, don't do that, <clears throat> gonna help. A couple of things you will need. I have a little pair of sewing scissors. Um, depending on your what you're sewing, this is a very thin thread. Um, this will be more invisible. Uh, I am going to use a thicker thread, which is actually embroidery thread today, so that you can see it. Um, I have this little box full of pins, so I can pin things together um, and keep them in place while I sew. And an assortment of sewing needles. This is 50 different needles. Uh, today, what I'm going to be doing is sewing with the thick embroidery thread and this huge needle, hopefully so you can see it. Um, this needle is, you know, in a craft store you would find it as a, um, a doll needle. And then these are tapestry needles which have really big eyes so they're easier to thread, but they are short and blunt so it's kind of harder if you have a tough fabric, it'll be harder to poke holes through. So I'm just going to go through some of the basic stitches. Um, and the first stitch we're going to do is called a running stitch. Um, and what I'm going to do is I have, you know, two pieces of fabric here. I'm going to switch out for one yellow and one blue. And I am going to piece them together, which means sew them together, piece them together is sort of a quilting term. The first thing I'm going to do is thread my needle. So I take the tip of the, the thread, put it through the eye. It's easier with a big needle. Um, the next very important thing to do is to tie a knot in the bottom of the thread so it doesn't pull through. So I make a loop and then I put the end through the loop and just make a little knot. So at this point, if you're piecing together two pieces of fabric, and you want them to stay in place, you might decide to pin it. This is a very small piece of fabric, so I will just put in two pins. Um, I go through the front to the back, and then I come through again, and that's it. And it's held in place. And I'll do another pin, just in case. So this won't slip around while I sew. Uh, all right. So, the running stitch is kind of what it sounds like. It just runs in one direction. What is it, Wendy? Okay, so I'm gonna go in through the back, and then in through the front, and pull it through. in through the back. The bigger your needle, the harder it is to poke through to make a, the bigger hole. Um, so this is a little tough, slow going. But as you can start to see, there's my running stitch. It's in the front and on the back. And then when you start really going, you don't need to pull the needle all the way through each time, but you can start the needle and put it through a little bit, put it through the next stitch, and then bring it back up to the front, bring it back to the back, back to the front, back to the back, back to the front, and you're just sort of building it up on the needle. And then when you have quite a bit, pull the needle, pull the fabric, Cross the needle all at once and you will see you've created a handful of running stitches all at once. So I'll go all the way to the end I'm making really long running stitches because I'm just trying to speed this up but you can make really neat running stitches um, 
if you want them to show, that's also an option because they could look really nice if you're careful um, and make them very even. Mine are not going to look nice, but whatever. Um, so a super thick needle and thread. I'm just pulling it through. What is it, Wendy? Come here, kitty kitty. Come here. Hi, buddy. She's here. She's attacking. Okay, so now that I've <laughs> pulled the thread all the way through, I'll take the pins out. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably just tie another knot here. So when you're done, you tie a knot by holding the fabric down and making a loop, making a loop, putting the end through the loop. And then I just put my finger on the fabric where the knot will be and I pull through until the loop is closed and it's a little knot. So as you can see, you know, if this were, you know, facing up, it can look kind of good, can look cool. But what we've what we're doing is piecing together. So this actually is the back. And then you've pieced them together, you can iron it or just flatten it. And now you have one piece out of two. So the running stitch is the easiest way to piece two things together. So if you're gonna piece two things together, you want to take the two fronts, the two faces, um, and put them together, and then uh, running stitch on the back so that you can open them up and you have a single stitch, uh, a single piece with a hidden stitch. So the other option is, um, when you want to piece two things together, we'll do another triangle here, another two triangles. So another way to piece two things together, another stitch, I just call it a loop stitch. I don't know what it's really called. Um, again, we tie a knot in the bottom. So we make a loop, put the end through the loop, tie it off. And I've got um, a little extra hanging off my needle here. It's folded over at the top, and a little extra hanging off. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pin this time because this is so small. So I'm gonna go through the front. I've tied the knot so it won't pull through. Okay, and now I'm just going to loop. So it's in the back. I'm gonna loop over the seam. To the back again and pull it through. I'm gonna loop, oh, and so now I'm on the back and I'm coming to the front over the seam and going to the back again. Um, so I'm piecing them together like so and you can start to see how it looks. Oh, that one I messed up. No, I messed up. I went through the, through another thread. So I took my needle out and I'm just going to undo my mistake. I'm going to pull that out. Um, Rethread my needle. And keep going. So make sure your needle's clear. You're not going back through an old loop, so that's what happened. I went through the loop when I shouldn't have. So make sure your needle's clear, pull it through. Okay, and you start to see that you get this nice pattern where it's coming up and over, up and over, over the top of the seam. So that's one way to piece it together. I won't go the whole way, but you can see if we were to open it up, it would be similar to the running stitch where we've pieced together the two fabrics and that's a seam there. Okay. But the other thing you can do is this could be sort of an aesthetic effect where if you're really loose with your stitches and you give yourself some extra 
and you start to pull them out, you get this effect that it looks like actual um, <laughs> stitches, like if you got a cut and you needed to be stitched together, like Frankenstein style. So you see the stitches there. So um, that is a loop stitch and you can do it tight for piecing or you can pull it loose and you have Frankenstein stitches. Um, the running stitch is probably the fastest thing to piece two things together. So running stitch and uh, a loop stitch. Okay, so 